Hey guys, welcome back. So this is where we are currently at. We have both uh, legs fully rigged, both arms fully rigged. Now we want to look at the torso and the neck a little bit more. Um, so we'll be creating a uh, an envelope deformer around both of these. Uh, let's go into our node view and find the belly right here. Um, I'm going to activate this one. As you may have seen, I had deactivated the vest because this was uh, coming in front of the rest uh, a little bit too much. So we can deactivate it for now. We'll reactivate them and apply uh, an envelope deformation on these as well. So let's keep these as off for now. We can go into the torso comp to activate just this one if we want by creating a display, connecting it underneath and simply isolating it as we've done so far. So I'm going to apply an envelope deformer on this one. For the torso, it is pretty important to be thinking about just how it is going to bend. We don't just want it to deform so that it looks nice, we want it to deform so it makes sense. Um, so for instance, I may want to have a certain flexibility over here uh, even though we'll have a separate piece for the hips, we can still um, kind of try to make that work to the best of our capabilities. So um, if you feel that um, the torso should bend around this area, perhaps um, if it helps, you can also, of course, go back to the display all just to kind of figure out where exactly the torso is going to rotate from. We'll be able to rotate the entire piece, of course, but we're using the envelope for a little more flexibility if we need to kind of tilt this upper part of the body here. To have our character kind of leaning to this side, then we want to make sure that we can do that. So let's go back to our display and I'm going to start tracing the, um, the envelope around this shape, this kind of avocado curved one so one two I make sure to have at least these three points here that I can have in place and if I want the torso to kind of rotate over from here I probably want to have a point that helps me do so I'll have one at the top and basically just redo the same over on the other side it's a pretty simple shape to uh, to add deformation to Hardly going to need any editing at all. Maybe just a little bit to make sure it matches the curve. So now we have this one here. We can go and deactivate that to focus on the torso next. So the torso is going to be pretty much the same thing. Um, I can put a point underneath here or I could just have uh, one on each little corner over here so that way I can uh, have a nice smooth curve without having to animate another point. So as I was mentioning at the beginning of this tutorial, um, it's all about finding balance and the right number of points to apply to your shape. Um, for this one, because this hooks up to the neck, we may want to have a point perhaps at the edge over here of the circle just to kind of make sure that um, we can adjust if the neck needs to be thinner. So I like to have it over here. I don't necessarily think that having one at the top is going to be this important. Um, so let's just skip that one, create another point here. And we can of course edit these points after they've been created, either as we go or completely after. It's all up to you. Let's keep going like this, create another one pretty much at the same spot as the other one. And of course we come and close the shape. So there we have it. We have the full torso over here. Now if I want to do the vest, I can turn these off 
and go one at a time with the vest. Um, so the vest again is going to be visible and invercut only inside the shape over here. Um, the reason why we've made it so big for this one is that in the other views we'll actually offset that to kind of cover up a little bit more of the character to make it look like the vest is uh, offsetting into the body. So let's put that back in its place and I want to have an envelope around this one so that I can move the vest around uh, a little bit more. So what I can do for this one, I have again two options. So I can either have an envelope around the entire shape and have another one kind of starting with this curve here. This is not a character that's going to move, um, you know, in crazy sorts of ways. Um, so you have to take that into consideration when creating your rig. If you have an animation sample, make sure you check it out, see how different things, different pieces on your characters move. Uh, and this is going to definitely help you uh, decide what needs to be split down into separate parts and what doesn't. So for this one, I'm going to start over here on the outside. Um, this is the part that we won't be seeing. So I don't need to make it move too much. Um, and since there's this line inside the shape, we don't necessarily want it to move uh, and break that texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it pretty close, a little bit past that line and create this one here. And I don't want to have too many points as well in here because that will also break this line. So I'm going to go and put one about in the center here just to see how that might look. Sometimes it's not foul proof. You have to uh, kind of test it out to see just how it's going to move. I'm going to go back here again about center of this line and pretty much go and close it off from there. So I can bring this handle back to the top and readjust these a little bit so that they follow the shape a little bit more. It doesn't need to be perfectly dead at the center. Let's try something like this and to move it, of course, we go back to our transform tool so we can here move around the points. Sometimes uh, it's not going to look as nice if you try moving the handles, so we can try it here. It doesn't break too much. We could try readjusting very slightly the line to be perhaps a little bit more directly on the line. And that way, if we create a little bit of rotation, we get something that perhaps looks a little bit nicer. So a lot about deformation is going to be um, you know, trying creating the curve and then trying it out. Those are the two important points because these are the ones that are seen again inside of the torso here. So I'd say I'm pretty happy with this result at the moment. Uh, we can go ahead and do the vest back. We can uh, see this part again. So we'll do something a little bit similar for this one. Uh, you guys can go ahead and do it. I won't necessarily show it since we've already done the first part. You guys pretty know, uh, pretty much know how to do it for this. And let's get rid of our display here. I'm gonna turn those back on, perhaps just deactivate the vest again to get rid of um, to get rid of the visual clutter. And I'm going to go into the neck next. So the neck is right beside the head, as we can see here. It is going to create the movement for the neck. So we can set either a curve on here. It is a pretty short neck, so it doesn't need to be anything too major. Let's go ahead and find that inside the timeline. Turn on solo mode right here. And I'll deactivate the other, um, the other deformers and we'll just create a really simple shape around the neck in case we need to thicken it out or thin it out. 
So I'm going to just create a four point envelope. Doesn't need to be anything, um, anything much, uh, much more complex than that. It is really just to give a little bit of flexibility. Okay, so that looks about good. We can stretch out the neck a little bit. We can thin it out. We can diminish that circle if need be. Um, so let's go back and turn off this mode right here. So if I look at everything uh, that we have so far, we've done the neck, we've done the arms, the torso. Uh, we're only really missing the hips. Um, and the hips are over here. Again, we can turn on the solo mode for this one and it'll be pretty much the same as the torso. We want to make sure that we have a certain control over the width of those hips and the bottom uh, a little bit more too because uh, this is going to be the bottom of my character. We can do something about that a little bit later on but basically we're just tracing around it, uh, creating the various pieces, all of course with the goal of giving the character a little bit more flexibility and uh, being able to uh, change the volumes of those shapes inside the different views that are coming up. So that seems about good. Um, and we can keep going with the head in the next video. So make sure that you guys take care of all the different pieces that we have here, uh, unless they don't require deformation. And I will see you guys in the next video.